another term for freight in is transportation costs. So the concept of freight in is this is your um, delivery fee from your from the warehouse of your supplier into your own warehouse. So there are um, um, two recognition criteria in accounting for freight in. For perpetual, the freight is charged to raw materials. So it means this is a capitalizable cost. So your cost of materials, the total cost of your material is your invoice cost, the purchase price of your inventory itself, plus the freight in or your transportation cost. Um, sometimes the freight in, oh, I'm sorry, I mean sometimes there are a lot of raw materials delivered in one delivery. Okay, so there are different types of materials delivered in one delivery. So you have to apportion it according to each material. So um, there are three types of proportionating it. First is your units purchased. Second is according to your invoice cost. And third is according to your weighted cost. Um, also, the cost of your raw materials issued already includes the part of the freight. Again, this 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 fourth bullet or this fourth line, um, this refers from the raw materials to the conversion process. So when you um, transport your raw material inventory to WIP, it already includes a part of the freight. Okay. So for the another for the other recognition criteria under the periodic inventory system, freight cost is charged in a separate account and it, it is maintained under freight account. So for your invoice cost or your purchase price of your raw materials inventory, it is charged under the purchases account. So the freight is apportioned between the issued and an issued raw materials inventory um, when, mat when materials are issued to production. And last, the freight allocated to raw materials is debited to work in process inventory together with the invoice, invoice price. Let's take this as an example for your purchase of raw materials and recognition of freight in. So Hydroflask purchased the following raw materials from steel company with terms 210 and net 30. Hydroflask paid 1.5 as freight charge. So in here, you have two types of raw materials you have alloy and copper so they have each um, each has two units two, two thousand units um, the weight allocated for alloy is two while for copper it is three the unit cost per material for alloy is 10 and the unit cost per material for copper is 15 um, 2000 times unit cost you have 20,000 here and 2000 units times 15 pesos of copper it is 30,000, giving you a total invoice cost of 50,000 pesos. So now let's record the purchase. So for here, under perpetual system, we know that um, under perpetual system, the total cost of material is your invoice cost plus your freight charge. So we add the total cost, total invoice cost of 50,000 plus the 1,500 freight charge. Um, and you debit raw materials inventory, 51,500. Then, you um, credit accounts payable why do, um, for 50,000. And if, if I may ask you, why do we credit accounts payable and not cash for the 50,000? It is because um, the problem states here that the uh, it was purchased with terms um, 210 and net 30 so when you see this um, statement it is already a hint that it is under it is made um, in account that's why you recognize accounts payable okay so you credit cash 15 for the freight again why did I record cash and not accounts payable for the freight of 15 it is because of the state it is because of the word here paid so this this is a hint for um, cash payments or, or ma payments made in cash okay so recognize you, rec you recognize here cash as one five so summarize under perpetual um, debit raw materials inventory 
for the um, invoice cost plus your freight, 51,500. And then your credit accounts payable, 50,000 pesos. And the um, credit cash, 1,500 for your freight. However, for your periodic inventory system, again, the um, um, it is a general rule that um, invoice cost will be recognized in the purchases account while freight will be charged separately, separately um, under freight account. So this is not part of your um, total ma raw materials cost. Okay. So you debit purchases account for 50000 and you credit also accounts payable 50000 Again, accounts payable because of the terms here as indicated here. So um, you debit freight for your freight charge. Again, this should be a separate account. And then you credit cash 1500 because of this statement here, paid. Okay, credit cash. So in here, we would like to determine how to allocate the freight in case there is, in case there are multiple raw materials in one delivery. Okay? So for this one, um, for a single freight charge of 1,500, um, two types or two kinds of raw materials were, was de were delivered to you. So you have your alloy and your copper. So again, going back, you have three ki you have three types of knowing how to allocate your freight. First is through your invoice cost. Second is in your units purchased. And last is through your weighted units. So using the invoice cost, all you have to do is plot this. Okay? So you plot your two types of materials and use the invoice here, invoice, as your variable. Okay? So you sum the total in um, you sum the total invoice for each material, so 20 plus 30,000, this would be equal to 50,000. And then just get the proportionate share for your, for each material, so 20,000 divided by 50,000, you would be getting 40% um, and 60% for copper. So from, from here on, and um, you will use this in the other determinants of how to know the allocation of freight. You just multiply your allocation your allocated percentage um, to the freight charge which is 1500 so 40% of 1500 is 600 and 60% of 1 of 1500 is 900 so you add the total allocated of freight um, in terms of peso amount 600 plus 900 you will get 1500 again check in check check and balance with your with with what is with which is stated in the problem 1500 you will have an um, equal amount okay so to get the total amount charged for each type of material all you have to do is add the invoice cost plus your freight so in in this in um in this scenario we already know the um the freight allocated for each type of material so again the the formula for for determining the total cost of raw material is invoice cost plus freight. So we are we simply have to add the invoice here. For alloy, you have twenty thousand plus six hundred. You will be getting twenty thousand six hundred. And for copper, thirty thousand plus your freight of nine hundred. You will be getting thirty thousand eight hundred. Add these two, you would be getting fifty thousand fifty one thousand five hundred. Again, this is um. Um, similar with your um, pro forma and journal entries with, um, using perpetual inventory system for purchasing raw materials. Uh, a while ago, um, we debited raw materials inventory for, an, uh, for the amount of 51,500 and then we credited accounts payable for 50,000 pesos and again, we also credited 1,500 for free. Again? This, is, this should be equal with your um, purchases, journal entries. So, allocating via units purchased, also similar with your invoice cost, but, but what we have to change here um, is the variable, which should be the units. The problem, this is this one. So, you have 2,000 each for each type of material. Okay, so 
2,000 divided by 4,000, it should, it should be 50. So let's split it to 50-50. So half of 1,500 free charge would be 750. So the total amount charged for each type of uh, for each type of raw material for your alloy, you would be getting your invoice cost of 20,000 pesos plus your free charge of 750. It would be equal to 20,750. While for copper, you add your allocated freight of 750 pesos plus your invoice cost of 30,000, you would be getting 30,750, which again would be equal to 51,500. Similar with your invoice cost here. Okay? The only difference between these two is how you allocated the, um, the freight to each type of material. And last is your um, based on weighted units. Okay. So you what the variable that you would be using here would be your weight. Again, this should be sorry, this should be one, alloy should be one, and copper should be four. So for your alloy, um one divided by five, it would be twenty percent. So for your copper, you would have eighty percent. Okay. So twenty percent of one thousand five hundred is three hundred pesos. While eighty percent of fifteen hundred would be one thousand two hundred. So again, to get the total amount charged, you add again, for alloy, it would be 20,300, while for copper, it would be um, 31,200, add the two, you would get 51,500. Okay, so this concept, you only want to know here how much freight was, um, should be recognized by each type of material. Okay, because when you transfer this again to the um, to work in process or when you can when you can break in when you send this to the production department you should be able to know what is the um, true amount of the raw material again the the true the amount of raw material includes your invoice cost plus your freight cost 